welcome back to my channel guys wagwan welcome back to my kitchen now today i'm going to show you how to make jamaican fried chicken now my chicken i've already marinated my chicken from last night so in a few i'm going to show you how to marinate the chicken from last night but it's pretty much soaking in buttermilk you can use whole milk if you have um so it's good to soak your chicken for at least 24 hours or two days especially for a fried chicken okay guys so this is my oven i prep for my fried chicken i've already washed it with vinegar and water so now i'm just going to season it a bit so like i always say guys it's always good to marinate your chicken from overnight now fried chicken i'm not going to use a lot of herbs but it's going to need a good amount of powder seasoning i'm also going to use buttermilk to soak my chicken from overnight so the brand I'm gonna use is this brand, buttermilk. But if you don't have buttermilk, you can also use regular whole milk. So I've added some onion, some garlic, and I'm gonna add some thyme. I'm gonna add about one tablespoon of all-purpose seasoning, grace all-purpose seasoning. I'm gonna add one tablespoon Maggi, Maggi chicken flavor seasoning. I'm gonna add one tablespoon cayenne pepper. So if you don't have cayenne pepper, it's okay, but I'm gonna add one tablespoon cayenne pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. So I'm gonna go ahead and and season this before I add my buttermilk so you want to make sure that you season your meat properly especially for fried chicken you want the season to penetrate all over the chicken so this is my overnight prep for my fried chicken Jamaican style I'm gonna add you could add about one cup of buttermilk. So like I said, this is gonna be my overnight prep. See, that's looking so good. You could also add half tablespoon of paprika. You don't have to, but you could. you wanna make sure everything is all covered and then you're gonna soak this from in the fridge for about 24 hours now the, for my breading I'm gonna use one cup rice flour so this is the brand of rice flour I'm using now if you don't have rice flour you can use cornstarch so I'm gonna use one cup rice flour and also one cup of all-purpose flour and these are my seasonings i'm going to season my flour in a few and also my egg wash in a few all right so this is one cup all purpose flour i'm going to add one cup of rice flour so like i said guys if you don't have rice flour you can always use cornstarch So this is the coating I'm going to use to coat my fried chicken. So I'm going to add some seasoning to it. And you could add one tablespoon each of the seasoning. I'm going to add Maggi, chicken flavor seasoning. I'm going to add onion powder. You could add about half tablespoon onion powder. Garlic powder. I'm using the Grace brand. About half tablespoon paprika you could add about a quarter tablespoon paprika cayenne pepper you could add about a quarter tablespoon of cayenne pepper now I'm gonna add turmeric so you could use curry powder if you have or you can use turmeric so about one tablespoon of turmeric an all-purpose seasoning I'm using the Grace brand, all-purpose seasoning, about one tablespoon. 
So now you're going to mix this flour mix and this is the coating you're going to use for your fried chicken. So I'm going to add a little bit of seasoned salt, all purpose seasoned salt, just a little bit and a little bit of black pepper. So you want to make sure that your chicken is seasoned properly. Alright, so now I'm going to coat each piece of chicken. So what you want to do is, so first you dip it in your egg wash and you want to make sure that it's all covered. And you're going to dip it in your flour mix. Trust me guys, if you do this step by step, then your chicken is going to come out marvelous. It's going to come out so good. So for the folks that have never fried chicken, or at least never tried this way, I would like for you to try my recipe and let me know how it come out. So the coating, you want to make sure it's all covered. Alright, so I'm going to start the frying now. So you want to make sure that the oil is hot before you start frying the chicken. Like I told you before, I like to put a pepper in my frying pot whenever I'm frying a chicken or a fish. So now I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Trust me guys, this is going to come out so good. So this is a recipe, it's not hard, you can actually try at home and if you do try it, I would like for you to guys to give me feedback and let me know how it come out for you. So this is a traditional Jamaican fried chicken. So now I'm going to allow it to fry for about 20 to 30 minutes and then it should be finished. So my chicken looking beautiful guys, looking so good, look at that, damn, yeah, this is looking so good guys, looking good, it's coming along real good, so I'm telling you guys, once you follow all my steps, the chicken will come out exactly the way that I showed you, based on my recipe. But um, like I said, whatever ingredient you don't have, you can always substitute with other ingredients. You can always minus from my recipe or you can always add to suit your preference. guys so my fried chicken is just about ready so you want to get that golden brown color it's looking so good guys looking beautiful now I'm gonna remove them and put it on a rack for them to drain so guys I want to thank you guys for checking in today I want to thank you for the support as usual and I hope you guys enjoy this recipe and if you do try it, feel free to let me know and give me feedback. It's a pleasure to have you guys back again. And as usual, subscribe if you haven't yet. Click the notification bell to be notified whenever I post new videos. Alright guys. Have a good one. God bless.